Hello and welcome back to another HitFilm tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a new project inside of HitFilm Express and also how you can import your footage into your project so you can start editing. This is a beginner's tutorial. If you're more of an advanced user and you know quite a lot of the basic stuff then you can click on the eye in the top right hand corner of the screen and then you can watch through a playlist of more advanced videos. If this is the first time that you've loaded it up, uh, then this is the HitFilm Express home screen. Okay, so if you want to get in to do some editing, then you want to press on this new button. And when you do, it will bring up this new project settings panel. All of these settings can be changed later on and in the future, so if you do want to change, uh, say, your frame rate or your resolution of your picture, you don't have to have it all set up correctly from the first stage. You can go back into the settings of your project later on when you're actually in the middle of editing. So you don't actually have to worry about these too much because, as I said, they can be changed and tweaked later. I'm still going to go through and explain most of these to you, although if you know anything about video footage or formats then you should know what most of this is. You can choose a template from a list of pre-made templates that FX Home have created uh, so you've got some ones for Instagram. If you know you're going to be using some 720p HD footage and you know your frame rate you could select one of these or if you're doing some full HD footage then you could use this and so on. So if you're using 4K you could also use one of them. The duration is the length of your editor timeline, however as I said earlier this can be tweaked later. So if you're editing and you don't know how long your video is going to be, you can leave it at 5 minutes and that's a fairly good starting point and then you can always expand it or shrink it down later on. Then inside of the video tab you can see that there is the width, the height and the frame rate. The width is the width of your frame in pixels. So if you're working with HD footage at 1080p, it's going to be 1920 pixels wide uh, with a height of 1080 pixels. Then you have frame rate. This is the number of frames per second, so I'm working with 30 frames per second. Aspect ratio, I'm just going to leave the same at square pixels, it's 1.0. And then if you want to and you know stuff about audio and sample rates, then you can increase or decrease this to your liking. I'm just going to leave it at 48,000 Hz. And then you want to hit OK. When you press OK it will load up your workspace. And this is where you're going to be doing all of your editing and your compositing and your visual effects work or whatever you're wanting to do inside of HitFilm. So up in the top left hand corner you have the trimmer. And this is where you can go through and preview your video clips before you add them to the timeline. Down at the bottom of the screen you have the editor timeline. And on the left hand side you have a bunch of tools. I'm going to be going over the more basic tools, the ones that I use the most for editing my videos. You also have a fairly standard timeline which has a video track and an audio track. You can add more of these, but I'll be going into that when we need to. Then you have the viewer tab. This is where you'll be able to preview what you're working on and what you're doing. So, if you now want to import your video clips, you can press on the import button. This will load up the import screen, which is, which is just the file explorer. As you can see, I've already located the video clips that I want to import. So I'm just going to select the first one, hold down shift, press the last one, and it will select them all. Then I'm going to press open. As you can see, now I've imported some clips, there is something in the trimmer tab. And I can go through and check that this is the video clip I want to use. Okay, so if you know that this is the video clip you want to use, you can select it and drag it onto the timeline. If the video clip that you're adding doesn't quite match the settings that you put in for the editor, then it will open this screen here, which will basically say, look, you've just imported this clip, but the settings, they don't match. Do you want the software to automatically change the settings of the comp to match those of the footage? And then you can make a decision. I'm going to press no because I want to work at 30 frames per second, even though my shots were filmed at 29 frames per second. As you can see when I start scrubbing through the timeline by dragging on this grey box, you can see that the viewer starts moving. And that is because I'm moving through the video clip, which is on the timeline and this is shown in the viewer, and it is not moving in the trimmer. 
That is because the trimmer has its own controls just here, and you can scrub through the trimmer's timeline by using this bar at the bottom. And now you've put this clip on the timeline just by dragging it from the media tab over to the timeline. You can see that we have now got something to work with. So I'm just going to drag another clip that I filmed, and I'm going to put this next to this. As you can see, there are some snapping features that allow you to line up your clips properly, and these have now been put together correctly. You can turn off snapping by pressing on the magnet down at the bottom of the timeline, and this will just allow you to move it around freely. However, I would recommend as a beginner that you use the snapping tool. Now if you want to mute your video clips like I do, because I just say 3, 2, 1 and go, and also something similar just here, then you can select this handle that is on the audio tab, and just drag this white line down. And now this is silent. You will have to do this for each clip you want to silence. So now I've got two clips next to one another in the timeline, and you can do this for all of the other clips that you want to use. So if you're just wanting to string together some clips for your project, then you can do that. It's very easy to do. You just click on a piece of footage, and you just drag and drop this onto the timeline. If you want to delete a clip off of the timeline, then you can just select it and press delete. You can also remove clips from your timeline by right-clicking on it and se selecting remove. Now you want you might want to start cutting up your clips to create some more interesting edits. So how you can do this is go over to the toolbar that is on the left of your timeline and you will see that you have a selection tool, a drag tool and a slice tool. These are the three tools that I tend to use the most while I'm editing videos. So if you want to start cutting up your clips then you want to select the slice tool. This will then select it by turning it orange and then you can head over to the timeline. If you know the exact point in which, where you want to start cutting up your video, then you can move your playhead to it, which is this line here, and then you can put the slice tool next to it, and then the locking will automatically take effect, meaning then when you cut down this, it will automatically lock onto where your playhead was. You can then move this around and drag it around to create the kind of edit you want. So I wanted to remove this section, so I'm just going to select it, then press delete, and it's now gone. However, I've now got this massive black gap, so I'm going to drag the second clip towards the first clip. And now, we've removed the first section of the second clip. Another way that you can shorten your uh, clips down uh, is to just drag from the edge of the frame. For this, you want to have the selection tool active, and then you can click and drag across. As you can see, the viewer will change over to being this slightly smaller version of the video clip with a time code at the bottom, which basically says how many seconds you've gone back. So as I continue to drag this, you can see that I have removed 26 seconds from this clip. And also, with locking enabled, it will automatically lock it to the playhead. The playhead will also go orange. So I'm just going to do this for a few more clips. So first thing I'm going to do is mute the clip by dragging this handle down to the bottom. I'm also going to cut this just about here. So I'm going to use the slice tool. I'm then going to select where the playhead is to create a cut. Then I'm going to go back to the selection tool. I'm going to click on this clip, press delete, and then you can drag the clip to line up. I'm also going to drag from the end of this clip to the playhead to shorten it that way. So you've now created your first string of clips. What I would recommend you do is for you to just create a basic edit, something similar to this. Of course you can have as many clips or as few clips as you like, uh, but just kind of have a feel for editing inside of HitFilm. I'm just going to go through and put together a super simple ed edit. If you want to zoom in on the timeline, then you can see down at the bottom, you have this zoom control. So if you drag in, you can see that your timeline gets bigger, meaning that you can be more accurate with your editing. I'm just going to go through and finish up this edit that I started.
Another thing I just want to quickly add is, of course, if you want to keep the audio from your clips, then you can raise the audio back up or just leave the audio as it is. So if you want to go back and change your project settings, then you can press on this cog in the bottom corner. And this will bring up your properties again that you can change up. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then you could leave a like and subscribe on the video. My next beginner series video is going to be all about how to add text to the editor timeline because that's really useful to know how to do if you're just wanting to do some basic titling uh, or some subtitles or something like that. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.